Good morning children. How are you? Hope you are all fine. Today let us start a new lesson. Block number 7 Creepy Crawlies Lesson number 1 Ants Go Marching Today's keywords are Ant Elephant Egg I repeat Ant Elephant, egg. It's circle time, children. The aim of today's circle time is students will be able to select and complete the task. Children, today we are going to learn about insects. Insects are very small animals with a hard covering over its body. Bees, ants, butterflies, beetles and flies are kinds of insects. Today we are going to learn about ants. Ants are also a type of insects. Theme time children. The aim of today's theme time is students will be able to use one or two familiar words to communicate or answer questions in informal settings. Children, let's learn some facts about ants. Ants always live together in groups. These groups are called colonies. Ants have six legs. Ants are of many types. There are red ants and black ants. Some ants are big and some are very small. Yes, children, do you know what the ant likes to eat? Ant likes to eat sugar. Ants can carry their food from one place to another. Children, have you ever seen the ants marching? Yes, they march one by one. Children, even though the ants are very small, they make big, big houses under the ground. Can you see the ant hill here? This is the house of the ant. It stores its food inside this ant hill. Have you ever bitten by an ant? Isn't it painful, children? Yes, when an ant bites you, it's very painful. It's time for some arts and crafts. Ant making activity. Make ant prints in the scrapbook using your thumb and paint. Math time. The aim of today's math time is students will be able to show an understanding of one to one correspondence by placing one counter on each triangle. Children, we are going to learn how to count from number 1 to 10. So let's take a plain sheet, draw 5 triangles on it. Take some colorful beads. Children, now you have to count and place 1 1 beads in the triangle. Now let's start counting and place one one bead inside the triangle. One, two, three, four and five. Now children, instead of one beads, we'll place two two beads in each triangle. And when you're placing it, do count and place them. So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Language time, children. The aim of today's language time is students will be able to respond to questions about the story read aloud. Children, we have already learned the letter E. 
Come on, let's revise it once again. E says E, E for elephant. E says E, E for egg. Children, now teacher is going to read out the story. Please listen it carefully and identify the words that begin with the letter E. Emma laid an egg. Emma, the emu, laid an egg. She had to go out, but she was worried about her egg. So she went to Ellie, the elephant, for help. Ellie, can you look after my egg until I come back? asked Emma. Ellie went out in search of food. He hung a basket with the egg on his trunk. Ellie went to a banana tree. Then he slipped. The egg flew out of the basket. Ellie ran after the egg. The egg fell into the basket and Ellie happily shouted, Hooray! It's question time, children. What did Emma the emu do? Yes, children, can you tell me the answer? What did Emma the emu do? Emma the emu laid an egg. To whom did Emma the emu ask for help? Yes, children, can you tell me? To whom did Emma the emu ask for help? Ellie the elephant. Emma the emu asked for help from Ellie the elephant. That's all for today children. Have a good day.